This is the Lars Larson Show, 99.1 FM Talk. On the phone with me now is Bobby Livingston, Vice President of Sales and Market for RRAuction.com. Mr. Livingston, thanks for taking the time. Lars, I'm really, really pleased to be on with you. Well, it's very nice to have you on. And I saw this and I said to my uh, producer, I said, you know what, let's have some fun. This one sounds like an interesting kind of auction that's coming up. Uh, tell me when these pieces of space history go on on the uh, auction block. It, uh on January 20th, 2011, we're going to be representing about 500 really uh, unique and exciting uh, space artifacts, uh, things that, that really uh, capture the history of the space program, which I, you know, which I think is America's greatest achievement, maybe, or man's greatest achievement, at least engineering-wise, um, you know, sending somebody to the moon. I think you can, you can really trace uh, everything from uh, maybe the first guy looking up at the moon to, to Copernicus to... Isaac Newton to Einstein to Neil Armstrong stepping on that moon. I, I really don't think there's a greater accomplishment. And you can uh, actually buy some of the hardware that's left over from this. Yeah, we got some really cool stuff. We have the headset that Charlie Duke was was wearing when uh, uh, the, the Apollo 11 landed on the moon, and, and you heard the words "The Eagle has landed." The first transmission from from the moon. It's uh, pretty neat stuff. And, in fact, he replied back, we copy you down, Eagle. That's correct. And it came to this headset. The other side of the headset is in the Smithsonian. So uh, it's something we, we feel is worth, uh, we'll probably estimate that it would sell for about eighty to to $100,000. Wow. So, yeah. but, but that puts it out of the reach of most of those of us mere mortals out there with smaller checking accounts and, and wives at home. So uh, you think there will be some things out there that, that some of us might be able to bid on? Absolutely. There's 500 lots, and uh, uh, there's inc there's incredible ones. There's there's a dime, the only dime that... Uh, oh, Gus this is Grissom, the Gus Grissom one. Right. This is one on Gemini 3. He actually had this one in his pocket and gave it to uh, Gunter Wendt, who was the NASA pad leader. And, and Grissom etched a GT3 into the f uh, face of the coin, so uh, Wendt himself uh, uh, provided it into the marketplace. So the provenance on that's really exciting. So what what do you think that'll go for? That's probably a ten cent dime. Probably going to be two to three thousand dollars. Two to three. But see, that's something where you know, if you got a couple of family members together, you could say, "Hey, let's bid on this thing and see if we can lay our hands on it." I understand there's also a little sex involved in the auction. <laughs> there is, but what, what, what you got to remember, you know, it was 1969. It's pretty uh, tame sex. It, 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 it means sex, and then these guys were. Uh, uh, fighter pilots, astronauts, you know, facing death in, uh, in all their endeavors. And one of the things they did to break the stress is they, they would pull practical jokes on each other. And one of the things that uh, they did to Apollo 12 is they snuck in these uh, Playboy Bunny pictures uh, into, the, into, the, uh, uh, into the manuals of the astronauts. And we have one of those that actually uh, orbited the, the, uh, the moon. So, in other words, when the guys would flip open the manual to go through some procedure and they're on a checklist and they flip the page and, and there's Miss, uh, uh, Miss August, 1967, Dee Dee Lind. That's correct. And there's some great radio transmissions from the lunar surface of when they, these were, they were mounted on their wrists. And so they were flipping the, the, the pages uh, to, to, of procedures that they had trained for for months. And so uh, when they flipped and saw these, uh, they cracked up. And it's one of the legendary practical jokes. And uh, we, we have uh, the only color image that, that uh, was up in space. Listen, when can people access this? And it's going to be online? Is that the way it's going to work? That's correct. They just have to go to uh, rrauction.com, and then they can register and start looking at some of the lots. Very good. rrauction.com is the place. And uh, the date again for January? Uh, it'll be January 20th, 2011, but they can begin registering now. Fantastic. Mr. Livingston, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you, Lars, so much. See, here's the thing. I'm kind of a space geek myself, and, and I'm fairly sure I can't afford the headset, although that'd be a cool kind of thing to hang on to, the other half of it in the Smithsonian. But how about that dime, that Gus Grissom dime, as long as his famous bad luck didn't go with it? You're listening to The Lars Larson Show. The Lars Larson Show.